new developments in a deadly mystery. A family pointing to a new autopsy trying to prove a young Florida mom was murdered after her death was ruled a suicide. Her family has long suspected her boyfriend, a sheriff's deputy, even though he's repeatedly been cleared of any wrongdoing. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more. Good morning, Gio. Robin, good morning to you. This investigation is five years in the making, a case made famous across the country because the family is convinced this was cold-blooded murder. Please, my girlfriend, I think she just shot herself. Suicide or murder? That is the question surrounding the 2010 death of 24-year-old Michelle O'Connell and pitting her family against the man they believe killed her. We knew that she didn't kill herself and that should bring justice to Michelle's death. Now O'Connell's family says they have new evidence proving she was murdered and they believe her sheriff's deputy boyfriend at the time did it. O'Connell, the mother of a four-year-old girl, died of a single gunshot wound. The gun belonging to her boyfriend, Jeremy Banks. <laughs> I'm Deputy Banks with the State Dallas County Sheriff's Office. Get someone here now. Police ruled it a suicide, but McConnell's family never believed that, fighting to have the case investigated as a homicide. Their story profiled on the Dr. Phil Show. When you say it's just overwhelming that this was a suicide, I'm sorry, I don't see it that way. The family taking matters into their own hands, hiring an independent medical examiner to conduct a new autopsy, telling the TV show Crime Watch Daily the body had a fracture nobody saw before. I believe she was struck, rendered incapacitated, and subsequently uh, had uh, intraoral gunshot wound by another person. Banks, who could not be reached for comment, has maintained his innocence and has never been charged. And two independent prosecutors also ruled McConnell's death a suicide. This morning, the sheriff's office tells ABC News three medical examiners had already looked at the body and that there is no probable cause to indicate Michelle died by anything other than her own hand. Still, O'Connell's mom is convinced Banks is responsible. Michelle deserves justice. And the sheriff also claims the boyfriend can't be the killer because he filed a civil suit in the case, putting everything under the microscope.